folks, I'm back! You know what guys, before I begin my talk, today is like a madhouse. It's, it's a madhouse up in here. Shall I tell you why? Because I've got my son in the background destroying all my bits and pieces of, of a gym equipment. Let me, let, let me show you what I'm talking about people. Look, look at that. You've got all these stuff on the floor. Son, say something. Say hello everybody. Hello. Oops, say hello everybody. Hello everybody. So, people, as I'm speaking to you right now at this time, that's what's going on in the background. So I'm trying to stay focused, but I'm trying to watch my son at the same time because he's up to all sorts of mischief and madness. People, what do I want to talk to you today about? Today, I want to talk to you guys about reconnecting with your friends, your close ones, especially them ones, them people that you've not seen for a long, long time. The thing is, I want to bring this to your attention. It's really, really important to reconnect with your friends every now and again. Shall I tell you why? Because it rejuvenates the soul, the body, the heart, mind. And it's healthy for the relationship. Especially if you're living with your nearest, nearest, your loved one, which is your spouse. And, you, and you've got a busy lifestyle. And you don't have time for socialising. You must make time to see your friends. Because what happens is, when you go off and see your friends and you come back to your family with your spouse. You're able to give good vibes back, good energy back. That's what it's all about, reconnecting with people. It's a chance and an opportunity for you to catch up with what's been missed in each and every one of our lives, especially when it comes down to our circle of friends, circle of influences that we have not seen for a long, long time. And it's good to keep ties, not break ties, not sever ties at all. Because there's much benefit, there's much gain to be made from each one another. That's what, this is what it's about people. It brings the heart closer together. It brings the mind, the body, the soul connected to one another in some different areas, some different levels of life people. So you must do this. Connect with your friends. I'm not talking about people who you meet daily. No, I'm talking about the ones that you've not seen for a long, long time, which are your good friends. And the thing is, they don't have to be friends necessarily. They could be your family that you've not seen for a long time. But as long as you guys were close, as, as, as long as good friendship has been there for a long period, a good relationship has been established for a long period, but you've not had the opportunity to, to see one another, it's time to make them opportunities. It's time to reconnect, pick up the phone, and make that contact, make that connection, and make that communication. Don't lose that, because these are valuable people throughout your life. You need them amongst your your circle of people in order to move, in order to grow, in order to develop. That's what it's about, people. Connecting with one another. Don't be shy just to pick up the phone and say, hey, what's up, long time no see. Let's do something, let's connect, let's communicate, let's get together. And don't make excuses. We're far too busy, especially in this day and age, to do just that. And if you're them individuals who's not busy, who's just loafing around, sitting with your friends, and doing nothing with yourself, then it's about time that you pick yourself back up, change your influences and try and change your environment and roll with a different set of people. Change your psychology, change your whole attitude and out, out, um, out, I can't even get the words out of my mouth. Outlook and approach in life. In order to move on, you must change your ways of thinking. You must be mindful about your influences that you have around you because they are the makeup of who you are today. They determine your level of success today so it's about time that you changed your people for the better that is if they're causing you to go down then it's about time you got rid of them and move forward look for better types of people to roll with first of all you need to change yourself in order to look for those better type of people because when you present yourself with a good set of people they might not want to hang around with you you might be a virus on them you might slow them down so you have to change yourself, not just your environment and not just your, your people around you, especially if they're trying to drag you down. I hope that's made a bit of sense. And if it hasn't, then it's all good. Move on with your life and just have a great day. That is my rant for today, people. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Guys, just before I go, something that got brought to my mind just now about connecting with those people who you've not seen for a long, long time. Don't just pick up the phone. Pick up the phone is just a starter. Meet them.
them face to face and do something constructive together. Do Go out for dinner. Go out and do something. But you need to connect human to human on a physical basis. Does that make sense? But I mean physical, I'm not talking about... Well, you know what I mean anyway. You need to see each other face to face and do something. Do something constructive. Do, do something just to chill out, to unwind, to relax, to catch up. Just do something good. Not just speak over the phone. The phone is just a first step to meet up. People, that is my rant for today. As obvious as it may sound, but how many of us out there are doing this? It's time to wake up. It's time to make that call. And it's time to move forward. People, I have to go now. Bye for now.